this is the Monarchy, and I'm joining them this season to battle for the crown. We all met up together in this village before going our separate ways. The crown is all to play for this time around for Monarchy Season 2. It's going off. Grabby for Queen. Heck no! <laughs> <laughs> we'll each be placing a special crown vault to defend that will generate crowns over time, which we'll then be able to steal. Then whoever has the most crowns at the end wins. One cliff dive later and I respawned into West Vanaland and started by gathering some fiber to make myself some clothes. The new map was beautiful and I stopped for a moment just to admire it before moving on to kill some dillos. The first one was a piece of cake, but I underestimated the second. Well, at least no one else was around to see that. Decided to give Vanaland North a go this round and got straight to the essentials. I was already cold, so I got down a campfire to prepare for the night, then spotted this trilobite. Sorry, Mr. Noodle, but this is too good to pass up. Felt a bit bad until I saw all the chitin and oil I got from this little critter. I gathered some more things, leveled up a bit, and made an extra campfire just in case before doing some exploring. It was starting to get dark when I heard this. Uh-uh, pretty sure that's a raptor eating that parasaur. I thought I'd be safe over here on this rock, but boy was I wrong. Another raptor came out of nowhere and my rock was anything but safe. So much for all that chitin and oil. I tried to spawn back at the same spot, but it kept dumping me up in the freezing mountains instead. After a few attempts, I gave up and tried spawning in Vanaland South, but immediately got eaten by another raptor. Vanaland East ended with ants. Tried South one more time and spotted another monarch. I thought about saying hi, but looks like they're going for a swim. So instead, I watched them get eaten by an alpha shark while I froze to death myself. Vardaland North. I'd had enough of Vanaland and decided to give North Vardaland a try instead. Ooh, there are boxes here. Perfect. I was pretty excited to get this pike, but not long after the cold got me again. I raced the clock a few times to try and get a campfire down, but the freezing air was harsh. Once I finally got one made, but in my rush, placed it inside this rock and died just as I started my fire. About the time I finally got it together, it was morning. I killed a dodo for some breakfast and made my way to the beach to collect some metal tools. Collected a metal pick, hatchet, and even a crossbow from the boxes, plus a few extra pikes. I had too many to carry, but didn't want to drop them, so I stuck them in a box under this shipwreck for now. After realizing there was sand on the beach, I made a boomerang and spent the rest of the day taming all the dillos I could find. Dolly, Dan, and Diane joined me after that, and we headed out to find some more. Found another and started to knock it out, but its buddies decided to gang up on me, so I sent the Dillo gang after them all instead. One was really big, and my Dillos chased it right off the cliff, leaving me to deal with the other. I bowled it, but didn't even realize I was dying from the cold until it was too late. You know, this is starting to feel like the good old days of Ark. My monarchy journey was sure off to a rough start, but I gathered my things and headed back to the beach for the night. Grabbed some parasaur meat on the way home and then cooked some and split the rest out to spoil. This Ichthyornis tried to steal my dinner, but maybe we'll just put you on the menu instead. Tamed one more Dillo before calling it a night. Maybe we'll make it through this one without dying. The next morning, I got down a temporary base and then headed back down the beach to get all the stuff from my old storage box to put in this new box. I needed something to help me gather some berries for narcotics. This parasaur will do. Or not. But look, is that a unicorn? I might have been just a little bit excited. I stared at it for a good long while, but taming it on berries would take forever. I'd have to get some rocker at first. For now though, I was gonna have to log out for the night. I'm used to playing single player where your world stops when you log out. But on a server, life goes on whether you're logged in or not. So to keep anyone from cutting my fancy blue mohawk, I hid over behind this rock, hoping no one would find me. When I logged back in, I still had my hair, all my dinos, and look, the unicorn's still there too. I was still looking for a suitable place for a base, but I was tired of not having a spyglass, so I headed out to look for some crystal. Instead, I found this raptor. Meh, I'll take it. Killed this dodo for me, but my raptor was in an awkward place and I couldn't reach it. A bit of parkour saved the day, and by nightfall, the raptor was mine. It was cold, so I stayed close to the fire that night when we had a surprise visitor. I was starting to think this unicorn was following me. This made me feel pretty lucky until I made the mistake of letting it get too close. It spooked and ran off into the night just as my torch broke, leaving me in darkness. I gammoned up just in time to see it run into this spino. I panicked for a moment, but all I could do was watch. Everything turned so bad so fast, and now I'm sad. Headed back to the beach and took my anger out on this Ichthyornis. I'd named my new raptor Ron, and I set him on fire by mistake too. It survived my attack, and I tried to shoot it, but its hitbox was off, so I got out my pike instead. Hey now, give me that back. 
I got my crossbow back out and tried and tried and tried to shoot. Finally, got some narcotics started the next morning and then headed out to kill some turtles when I noticed this Alpha Rex out for a stroll. You know what? I think that's about enough of this beach life for me. We're moving. I very carefully led my dinosaurs back down the beach, packed up all of my temporary base, and we were off. The sooner I could get my crown vault down, the sooner I could start making some crowns. So I decided to try to find a safe place to put it and my dino. Checked out this waterfall, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. Stopped for a bit to look at my map, and I'd gone farther west than I realized. But I'm pretty sure there's a village up on this mountain that might be the perfect place to stay. What's this, though? Looks like a little Stonehenge or something. And this must be one of those runes we're supposed to collect. One out of 200? Geez, that might take a minute. Gotta level up out of it, though. After grabbing a quick parasaur for lunch, I continued my search for a path up this mountain when my plans were ruined by this raptor. I tried to bowl it, but I think I just bowled my own raptor instead. Guess it's back to the beach for now. It was a longer journey than I'd remembered, but I eventually made it back to my stuff. You'd think I might have learned a lesson from that. But I turned around and sent my dinos after this turtle before running up this hill right into a raptor hiding in the bushes. I stayed pretty calm and probably would have killed it if I hadn't got stuck in it and couldn't attack. You've got to be kidding me. This time I learned from my mistake though and I put a bed down as soon as I got back. Feeling a bit more secure I started to head back up the hill. But I never even saw this saber tooth run in and I jumped right over it. Whoa, buddy, didn't see you there. Sorry about that. My friends finished it off, but now an RG was coming in to eat it. I let all my dinos away, except one Dello I missed. Sorry, Diane, you probably wouldn't have made it much further anyways. My search for a base place continued when these two decided to go for a swim. No. Well... Made my way across anyway to grab this rune and finally was high enough level to make a raptor sound. Dan was easy to find, but I don't see Dora and I'm pretty sure that Cheeto dust cloud up there is an alpha raptor. Ron and I cautiously headed in and whistled for her, but no luck. Just as I turned around to give up, though, she was right there behind me. Great, let's get out of here. I found this nice little rocky spot to log out on for the night, but when I came back on, I was dead. I died. I wasn't too concerned until I realized my stuff was glitched into the rock. Well, that's sad. I wasn't sure what had killed me because I hadn't made a tribe yet and didn't have a tribe log. For now, I ended up just going with Solo, but if you've got a better idea for my tribe name, let me know in the comments. You guys stay there. After replacing my hide armor, I decided it wasn't worth it to go back down the beach for more tools and return to my search for a base. I still had that village in mind to check out, so when I spotted this fence, I decided to try a bit of mountain climbing with my raptor Ron. Every time I'd get close, I'd fall back down again, but with some serious determination, we eventually made it to the top, and right there it was. Yeah. Oh, we made it. I've heard that you can actually place items on the floors of these houses and it will work as a foundation, which will save me tons of materials. Not to mention, I won't have to build any walls, and there's even a nice vegetable garden here. Too bad I didn't have those carrots for the unicorn. Grabbed this rune and then explored a bit more. <laughs> this village was looking great, but I'd need a few things before I could call it home. Most importantly, a door. Before I could build it, though, I got distracted when I noticed this ingram for a corpse finder. Looks like it can retrieve a glitched item bag. I crafted one immediately and took off on Ron to find another way down the mountain. There has to be some sort of ramp down, but instead I found this saber tooth and thought I could take advantage while it was fighting this Anki. Oops, maybe not. Ron fought it off anyway, and I decided that maybe I was biting off a bit more than I could chew. Ooh, ooh. Are, you, are you mad? No, we cool? We'll just find another way down the mountain. Slipping and sliding, we found a slightly sketchy path, and before I knew it, I was at the bottom again. Took a moment to work out how this corpse finder thing worked, and then poof, there it was. My stuff. Left the dillos behind for now and started back up the mountain the same way I came down. There was a parasaur stuck under my roof I wanted to tame, so I got back to work on the base with some mortar and pestle to make some narcotics for trank arrows. But then I started to hear something outside. Didn't see anything, so I continued with some more crafting, then headed outside to take a look around when I heard it for sure. It was a wolf pack. That parasaur was toast, and I made a run for it outside of the fence and up on this rock. This place might be more dangerous than I had realized. They couldn't get to me, so I figured maybe I'd just knock out a few with my boomerang, but it broke. Oh, hello. Yeah, stay right there. I had some trank arrows, just not enough to knock them all out, so I switched to regular arrows to finish them off instead when I heard something even worse behind me. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. The wolves were still after me, and now there was a Rex, too. Um, uh, oh, no, no, you should not poop right now. I hid behind this fence at first until the Rex and the wolves started fighting amongst each other, leaving me free to scramble up this hill to safety. By the time I turned around, the Rex was gone and there was only one wolf I could see. I bet I can tame this one and it's headed right for me. It managed to take a bite out of me, but I stood my ground and bullet it anyway. You're going home with me, buddy. Yes. I left it to tame and headed back to the village. There's a bag here from the Rex, but I think there may still be a few wolves about. Yep, there they are. Made my way onto the rock again and started shooting. Killed one and knocked out the other. I know I should have tamed the 135, but it's too late now. Ron finished off the Doedic that fell into this mess, and as my new wolves finished taming, I finished up the rest of my new home. This journey on the monarchy has only begun. Next time, I'll need to place my crown vault and find a way to defend it so that I can start collecting crowns. Fuhrer is full of new creatures, places to explore, and lots of adventure to be found.